Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for coming back to the channel. You're always welcome over here at the family house, the family affair house. Hey, we get down, we talk about everything celebrity news wise. Okay? We talk about everything. We just having a conversation. Everything over here is allegedly. We're just putting our two cents in. So we got that out the way. Let's talk about this young lady and hot topics. She is holding it down for Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams evidently gave her peace of mind, or she gave her peace of an uh, opinion of. Uh, to let um, Sherry Shepard host her show and all that. And if you haven't seen the Jasmine Brands vlog, go over there. She has her own podcast. She has her own YouTube channel. And she's fabulous. But do you remember I did a video on this yesterday? And it was this lady confirming that Mike Hill, Cynthia Bailey's husband, second husband at that, had actually been cheating on Cynthia with um sending texts like sexing or sexting that's what they call it when you just be doing stuff on, on your phone and sending it and you being you know you, it's incognito stuff but it's still wrong it's still wrong for a married man to be doing this and she had said that she was gonna be on Wendy Williams show sooner or later honey she must have dropped the topic down to Wendy Williams folks at the Wendy Williams show. And they probably paid her, you know what I'm saying, for the info. But Sherry Shepard was talking about it today on the Wendy Williams show. And I gotta tell you, she is doing a fantabulous job, okay? It's like she can have her own show, the Sherry Shepard show. But she definitely is holding it down for Wendy. I, if Wendy, I'd be kind of scared and kind of grateful at the same time if you can do both of them like that. Because, hey, if she ever needed to leave the show for whatever reason, she got it in good hands, honey. She got another African-American or black woman up there dropping the tea. But the only thing with Sherry Shepard that gets her, give her a pass or gets her a pass from talking about people she is in the comedian world. She's first and foremost a comedian and then she does talk reality type shows like I think she was on The View. I'm thinking Whoopi. I think that's the right one. Is it the talk? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's The View though. But anyway, she has been on Wendy Williams show countless of times just going over there showing love. And being able to talk about the new projects that she's working on and stuff. So it's a great outlet. But honey, she had that walk down like Wendy. She didn't have a how you doing. Because only Wendy can do the how you doing type of, you know, what do you call it? I would say emoji, but it's not an emoji. It's just a little slang term or a little welcoming um, addressment to her studio audience. Okay, uh, but that panel that they tried to do on Wendy Williams, I'm like, for one, Wendy Williams is not a panel type show. Okay, it is not. It's not. It's not. All right. So how they try to bring it up like the view, the talk, the real? That no, that wasn't gonna work. wasn't gonna work at all. But honey, she is doing a wonderful, wonderful job at hosting for Wendy. I think she had. Did it a couple of times and then they tried to have a panel, but the panel wasn't doing nothing. And that Leah Remy that she, they tried to have on now as a full time, and this other white lady they had put on now, I'm like, okay, unless the white people can come and dish the dirt, then they don't need to be on now. Because it's not like one of those shows where you have to talk proper, you have to, you know, appeal to a certain demographics. It's just really gossip you go on there you tell what you got to tell and you keep it moving you know what i'm saying but they try to make it into more of a panel type discussion where you're going to be giving out some real solid information and not what wendy has built it on which is ratchetness celebrity gossip hopefully some of it's true or it's going to lean to being true she's just throwing it out there but I don't know. I, I think Sherry does a good job because she's a comedian, first and foremost. And then she's a personality type out, what do you call it? Um, not a radio personality, but a TV personality person uh, that does a talk show. And she does talk on, like I said, I think it's The View. I think it is The View with Whoopi. But I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on it because I don't really watch the shows like I used to way back when. 
but um she would speak on certain political issues or mainstream humanitarian type issues or just what's really happening out there that's affecting humanity she would speak prolifically on stuff like that and it'd be relative and it'd be very relevant and she gives good thought uh provoking type conversations so i was you know really pleased with you know her being on that show with whoopee and all that kind of stuff but honey i was like okay she trying to uh, do her thing on wendy williams so let's see how she can get down so i caught it uh i think it was today's broadcasting show it came across my media feed because you know i'm working i'm out and about half time i don't have time to be looking at tv like that only if i'm sick and then i have to be like still well well enough to turn on the tv to be able to look at it but child she got on up there she came in this little black outfit uh, it's like a little jumpsuit or something, cat outfit suit, but it's not really form form fitting. Had a little looseness to it, but honey, she came up there, did her little thing, then she got to talking about Mike Hill. I was like, oh Lord, what? I said, uh, uh-uh. uh, this this cannot be true. This cannot be true. This lady just said she would be on the Wendy Wendy Williams show, but of course, uh, Sherry was like, well, she ain't on. She's on the William Williams show. But she's subbing in for Wendy Williams, so technically she's on the Sherry Shepherd show. You know, she was just joking all that stuff. That gave me a little chuckle here and there. But child, she got on uh, Cynthia. She was saying that she really only knows Cynthia in passing, you know, cordially. Where she may have been at a little party or a little entertainment type industry setting. Um, and they may have spoke like, hey, how you doing, whatever, and, and kept it moving. But uh, she don't know Mike Hill at all. So she was trying to compare her two ex-husbands to cheating. And she tried to make it seem like they weren't cheating. But after she finished her commentary, it just really made her feel like, girl, your man is cheating on you. Just face it. Every woman in the industry more than likely goes through it. And it ain't right. It ain't right by a long shot. But just go hide yourself or don't you know she's just really saying or give you an an impression that she really thinks mike he or cheated too and he just got caught pretty much but i have a little insert of that the audio so i'll let y'all listen to it and um y'all can kind of get your kiki your laughs on and hopefully cynthia will find or buy herself a clue and pretty much look into it even if she had to get a private investigator and you know after everything i'm pretty much died down because she definitely ain't coming out trying to talk to no social media outlet about what's going on and she can't hide she can run but she can't hide because she got to come out in public and she got to make some uh do her pr press thing that she's been doing on the circuit for a while until this stuff came out unless she's basically telling them okay i don't want to talk about this situation uh i don't want to talk about it so make sure when y'all interview me y'all ask me questions we don't go there and i'm like okay all right but it's gonna come it's gonna come time where you're gonna have to come out and talk about it because like i say you were so voiceful about other things especially running in the ground to us and over doing it with me and Nene Leaks are no, fr- no longer friends. We're no longer friends. We're no longer friends. I mean, I got tired of it. I'm like, okay, we get it. We got it. Good. You're no longer friends. However, still ain't came out. We gave her a 24-hour notice to come out and check her husband. Okay? But she still ain't showed up. She still ain't showed up, y'all. But let's go on and get into this audio because I didn't really want to make it too long because I got to drop two or three more videos before I go to bed tonight. But here it goes. This is on Hot Topics on the Wendy Williams show that aired today, uh, November 2nd, uh, whenever it comes on because I'll be at work when Wendy be uh, doing her thing. Uh, but here we go. Oh, my good Norman, Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Cynthia Bailey. Her husband, Mike Hill, is denying rumors that he is a cheater. Oh. They just got married. 
They just got married. I know. And you know what? In now deleted text, a woman claims that Mike Hill sent her naughty messages and a picture of his privates. Whoa. Whoa. This is the kind of stuff that this kind of stuff I really, really hate because Mike says that he never contacted the woman. He says it's not even it's not even him in the picture. Right. And I want to say this to everybody. I'm so protective of marriage. I, I really, I may not have made it, but I'm protective of marriages. I think marriage is the most beautiful thing. I don't know Cynthia Bailey well. We have met in, in like, acquaintance fashion at events and things. I love her. Uh, I've never met Mike Hill. But I, what I do love is Cynthia says that she left the show, Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh -huh. to protect her marriage. I'm, right. and, and I love that. She said she wanted to protect it because the first marriage she was in, because of the show, it, it didn't work out so well. So I love it. And here's the thing. When you start overjoicing and rejoicing over something good, somebody always wants to come in yep. and yep. hate uh -huh. on your good thing. Uh -huh. And so, I, I and I know this because the first time that happened with my husband, somebody called up talking about she was, well, that was true. That, that happened with that one. But the second time with that other one, somebody, yeah, that was true too. But I'm... <laughs> you see how she putting ice on Mike Hill. Over she ain't believe in that crap. Romero. And Cynthia this shouldn't believe it either. Edge nothing we don't know anything uh so i'm really hoping that this comes out on the side of cynthia bailey and mike hill because they seem to be so happy together now the, the alleged side chick who wrote who did all of this stuff she tweeted this is this tea will be on wendy sooner or later oh! that's what she said oh! well it's kind of, you know here's the thing um it, yeah, it's on Wendy, but it's not on Wendy. My name is Sherry Shepard, so I, you know, it ain't. But I, what I will tell you, when Wendy come back, you gonna be in trouble. Who you gonna be in trouble? Who Wendy gonna get you? Wendy gonna get you. Hilarious. You should have done all of this a little bit later, right now. Right. <laughs> Suzanne, Paul McCartney said. Okay, and I just wanted y'all to hear that. You see how she joked about it? She was kind of on the side of believing it. But then she put out there that men do lie. Men do cheat. So we ain't giving him a pass on this. And she gave her two examples of her two ex-husbands that she said cheated on her. And she just had to move through the motions and all of that. And she's not married, I don't believe um right now and she really shouldn't be trying to because i think she she's paying alimony to somebody or she's paying um i don't know i think she adopted a child or something child is just a hot mess with her situation but she lasts and keeps everything in check she try to make uh light of her situation which we all should sometimes because if we don't you know, we can have ulcers or heart attacks and things of that nature. And we shouldn't be in that realm of uh, functioning either. But I just thought I would give y'all a kiki, a laugh. Because everybody's pretty much laughing at the situation that Cynthia has definitely found herself in. She is not the first and won't be the last. But, you know, you got to be like Sherry. Just come on out, own it, and keep it moving. You know, now whether she stays in the marriage or not. I don't see how she can because you're going to always be, you know, reluctant to think when you're not with him. When you're out of town, what is he doing? With Who is he with? You know, is he say where he at? Where he say he at? Should I call? You know, I'm like, girl, get you a private investigator at this point and hire him where he can start watching Mike probably in December. Just keep it cool. Or just start at the first of the year. Get you a private investigator and just let them follow Mike for three to six months. So if anything comes out and the milk that ain't clean or the wash out there here has spun, then you can just let the cookies fall wherever they may. And if he thinks he's going to get something out, you know, off of you as far as alimony or spousal support or something like that, then just show the pictures. Because I'm sure it's going to be some out there. And he's going to be too embarrassed to fight you. Because we know of you. We're not in a sports run arena and world. And he's trying to not to be in that world anymore either. But we don't know of him. We know of you, Cynthia. But even your best laid out friends or viewers of anything you partake of. 
like your clothing uh, brand, your accessory brand, your modeling agency. We can only go so far with you. You know, we just want you to do good, be good. But, you know, you got to help yourself, too, when it comes to these relationships. And for you to sit there and say it, you got off of Real Housewives of Atlanta because you wanted to save your marriage is a crot of shit, okay? You know they had demoted you. You know you weren't bringing anything to, you know, the show. It definitely needs to be refreshing up a lot or it's dead. You know, put a fork in it. Pretty much it is already. You know, we can only have Kenya cut up and do so much. She, she needs other people to help her make some stories because we don't have any heavy hitters on the show except for her and possibly marlo okay and we just gave her a peach this time which will be sh you know, she'll be sh being shown uh to us in her rare form of what she can give us as a peach holder next year so hopefully she comes with it and she can definitely keep the show above water because when it comes to candy, she's pretty much want to do producing. And maybe it's paying her well. I'm not sure. Because when she did a play last time, it didn't fare. Uh, Mother's Love, I think it was called. It didn't fare very well. And she didn't have a lot of people investing in her project. And it kind of went belly up. So hopefully Candy is doing a lot better. And then she might see herself on out the show. Because, you know, everything is negotiable. And they may not want to negotiate with candy uh next time for season 15 since it seems like they're getting rid of all of the old heads the season ones the ones who started with the real housewives of atlanta uh, on the early stage like the first season through maybe seventh season you know it seems like they're kind of wrapping everything up in a nice boat and trying to get all the old heads out and try to bring in some new people for us to get used to uh for them to become a household name and hopefully the ratings will go up but yeah i just thought that was funny i thought that was a cute ha ha laugh because that's all i want from you all is to laugh and, and you know have some commentary to uh refresh your mind with and have a conversation about and not take it so serious you know what i'm saying don't take it always serious over here because it's all allegedly and we're just talking about something as if we were together uh facing one another sitting having lunch breakfast dinner and we were just chewing the fat you know that's all we do that's what we do over here keep everything lighthearted. all right but that's all i had on miss sherry shepherd trying to show up and show out on the wendy williams show and with doing like i said a fantabulous job with that what are you doing type of scenario okay so i will see y'all next video and make sure you like and share my videos making sure you do that now and tell your friends and family about me and if they so inclined they can definitely subscribe hit the notification bell on your way out so you will be notified when i drop down videos okay but other than that i will see you next time goodbye